What's up everybody and welcome back to Ben's Big Drive. Now today we have maybe a controversial topic that might step on some toes. That is not my intention, but all I'm here to do is explain to you why I mostly, mostly only throw Innova. And with that, let's dive in. So right now the disc golf community is exploding with new retailers like Clash Disc, Lone Star Disc, um, a bunch of really niche like uh, Castaplast. They have some awesome plastic. Disc golf is exploding with disc manufacturers and I think that is awesome. There should be plenty of competition in the disc space. There should be new plastics coming out. There should be new innovations. All of that I am 100% in support up. So if you support all these new manufacturers and their mission, why do you only throw Innova? Well, there are a couple reasons, but the first reason is not because I expect Innova to sponsor me. It would be really cool. It would be really cool, but I don't expect that anytime soon. The first reason why I throw mostly only Innova is because I'm a sucker for disc golf history. Just hearing the history of our sport and hearing how Dave Dunapace took the disc and really modernized it and went from frisbee lids that you couldn't throw at all in the wind to something that's not made for catch and that can fight the wind and that you can actually throw really fast, that whole story fascinates me because none of us would be here doing this if it weren't for him and his innovations. And I'm a huge Dave Dunapace fan and just throwing his creations, I find really cool. And then not to mention the history of dominance that Innova's had in the sport with people like Ken Climo and Paul McBeth back in the day and all of those early starters, a bunch of them were Innova and I just, I'm such a sucker for that. I think it's so cool to throw the same molds that they were throwing. It makes me feel like a part of overall disc golf history. And I know I'm just a sucker for that. Get over yourself. But I think that's super cool. Secondly, and probably the biggest reason why I mostly throw only Innova is because it's just what I know. I rarely, really rarely ever buy new disc. When they drop a new, hey, I don't even like the Halo plastic really because it changes what I know. I understand the Innova lineup so well because since the day I started, I've pretty much only been throwing it that I know what a brand new T-Bird does. I know what a slightly used T-Bird does. I know what a really beat up T-Bird does. I know how to look at destroyers and say, this is one I would like, this is one I wouldn't like. I know and love the Wraith. I have a ton of different Wraiths and they all do different things and I know and I love that. And that's a special confidence that I have with Star Plastic, with the KC Pro Plastic, with DX Innova Plastic. That's a special confidence that I have through years and years and years and years of throwing the same plastics over and over. That builds confidence with me and I enjoy knowing and loving a lineup like Innova's. In the flip side of that is I kind of hate learning new disc. I know that sounds really lame, but I have a lot of end of a disc and I pretty much have a disc for every single shot. And to take a disc from another manufacturer and for me to take the time to learn that disc instead of working on my own form or working on my game, I I know a lot of people like it. I am just not one of them. And if you like it, that's great. And that's a huge part of the game. I am just not one of those people. I would rather work on my technique or just go out there and play it's instead of learning a new disc. It's just too much for me. Again, might be your thing. It's just not really what I'm into. And another thing on that note is that new disc for me, I find don't really unlock new shots that often. It's not that the technology has progressed so far past the destroyers and whatnot that a new disc comes out and it just unlocks a world of possibility for me might be the case for you, but it doesn't really happen that much for me. So why wouldn't I just keep throwing what you know? Throw what you know, that's actually where that statement came from. So for me, just having the comfort of the tried and true star plastic, I know how it beats up. I know how long it takes to beat up a disc. I know what they're gonna do after they beat up. To me, that is just invaluable. And it would take a lot for me to switch manufacturers or to start mixing in a bunch of new stuff into my bag. I'm not saying it couldn't happen, but for right now, I'm happy throwing the choice of champions. 
And it sounds super corny, but it it does something to me. Call me an Innova simp, call me whatever you want. It works for me. Their marketing worked on me about 10 years ago and it still works on me today. So maybe one day I'll get bored or I'll see something else that piques my interest and I'll start working other manufacturers disc into my bag. But for right now, I'm sticking with Innova. I love you, Dave Dunapace. If Dave Dunapace, if I could, oh my gosh, if I could have a beer with anybody in the disc golf world, it would either be Nate Sexton or Dave Dunapace. Dave Dunapace is probably number one. Dave, I know you're not watching this, but if you do, let's go get a beer. We'll see you next time.